guys, Rachel with Spunky Misfit Girl here. It is a sunny Saturday afternoon and the boyfriend went out. So I thought I would film a little bit. I've got this, <coughs> excuse me, I've been a little sick. Now that the sun's back, I'm hoping to finally get all the way well. Um, so I have this Steampunk Alice um, three signature journal, which I know everybody loves, the really big stuffed ones. I've had it put together, um, covered and sewn, ready to go for a while. And I haven't really been feeling motivated to fill it up and work on it. Um, I was actually kind of considering leaving it blank and selling it that way, like upside down page. Um, <laughs> and uh, just today I was working on a new journaling card kit that is Steampunk Alice themed that I'm going to put together in my shop uh, very soon. Hopefully by the time this video is up, it'll be up and available for sale. Um... So I thought I would do a little work on just one page in this journal with you guys today. Um, I've got this pretty, it's really decoupage paper and I like the texture, it's very smooth. <laughs> um, it's really beautiful on this side, but it's totally white on this side. So we wanna cover that up. So I have some plans to do that with one of these cards, but I'm gonna put an envelope flip inside first. I think, I'm thinking from the bottom. So that means I'm gonna glue the flap in. These envelopes are a little bit strange. Can't really tell exactly where the fold is supposed to go. Um, so I thought I would maybe do like this. I like that. And that's going to be really fun then to cover this bit up. So I'm going to do that and glue this on here. And then do this page. I watched a video, I have forgotten who it was from. She was riffing off of somebody else. Um, where she was using stencils with just daubing ink on. I'm gonna try some of that on my page for this because hers turned out really beautifully. I gotta make sure I have alignment with my fold here before my glue goes tacky. All right, so that's going to go like that, and then we can cover this up on this page when we cover it up. So I've got this, I pulled this beautiful kind of scripty paper to use to cover my white and I'm gonna make Alice here into a pocket as well. On here like this, I think. I'm really tempted to get some lace on here too with her. This one that I like a lot. I use this one a lot. I'm gonna have to get some more. I think I'm almost out. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what I'm hankering for here. I meant for this to be quick and easy video because I keep making them too long and my systems don't really play well with uh, with long videos. I 
have these pretty cards that I got. I got them from an Italian paper shop, but they <laughs> they shipped them to me wrapped up in a tube, so they're not nice and flat anymore. I wonder if I could iron them and iron that out. I bet I could. Um, so anyway, I think I am just going to keep this simple for now. So I wanted to do a little bit of taking this. Make sure I don't get more than what I want on here outside the edges because I have these little stencils. So I want them to kind of come in like this. Ooh, that's going to be hard. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't, well, I guess I'm just going to have to be careful here. <laughs> Not always my strong suit in crafting. All right, how are you gonna try this like this? Let's just make sure we don't go over the edges on the front side there. But I do wanna make sure I get it nicely in the tip of the little diamond. This is gonna be cool. I'll have to look up and see if I can see who it was who posted about this. She did some roses with some pinks and browns together and they just came out looking really classy and beautiful, very nice on the page. Oh, see, I got some extra. Look at that. I'm not very good at... Yep, I got my edges. But that's okay, actually, because Alice is going to cover that up. Don't you love that when you screw something up and you're like, oh, but it really doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up anyway. I'm actually not... I, I, I like that. I'm actually covering it up more than I thought because I do want her to be to give enough room on there to um, to be a, a easily usable pocket. I actually might, I think I'm gonna give her a clip in the middle too, just to make that. Um, A little more accessible because it's a big pocket. She just has a hole in her head and Alice is okay with that, right? All right, let's do one here too. How about this guy? Oh, I just want to do more of this. I really like this as a technique. It's so nice. I was originally going to do it straight on that blank page, um, which is, now look at me, I'm totally not paying attention. Um, talk and craft at the same time. Yeah, I think this would have looked really nice on the blank page the decoupage paper, but I don't want that much white. I don't like that. Especially in a steampunk journal. Things shouldn't be white. Things should be dirty brown. All right, how's that? Most of my, oh, I like that. That's really nice. That actually looks nicer. I wish I would have used that one down here too. But that's okay. That looks good. Should I do the other side too? I don't know. That might feel too cluttered. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What do 
could do instead is something like this. I don't know, these, I got these Steampunk Alice uh, rubber stamps, but they don't, they're not that good. They're hard to use and they're, they're just really hard to get a good clear stamp out of but we'll try it we'll try it on some scrap paper first Ooh, that guy doesn't look like he's doing very well it's all fuzzy i don't know if you can see but my ink pad's very fuzzy this is the one i got some rubber stamps from sky bambi and they really didn't work well at all with my distress inks. And she recommended this one as a as a good one. I still had trouble getting a good print from them. Ooh, that came out pretty well. A little gooey, but I think. That's nice. So question is, how do we want to situate it on this little page here? I was in it up in the corner somehow, but I don't know. Like this maybe. Yeah, I like that. All right, so Alice will go in here. That's pretty good. I'm still craving lace on this page, but I don't. I don't know. My other laces are too. Sky, which is like burlap, printed burlap. I just, I just don't know what I want to do with it, really, because maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little more to this page later, add a word or some words with some lace underneath. Maybe I have this burgundy one somewhere too. I don't know exactly where it is, but. That could work here with some words. Yeah, I'm starting to pull a vision. All right, so let's put this guy together though. I'm just gonna use glue. I'm gonna put Alice on here. And then put this page in. And I have not cut out the other cards yet, but I'll I'll show you the little ones. I actually haven't even printed out all of the big ones. So you can get a bit of a look at what's in these, in this kit for the journaling cards. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I'm pleased. Um, so the kit comes with two pages of these smaller cards. And then there are, oh, I believe 10 of these larger cards, which I don't have right here. Um, but, and then they also come, it comes with a backing sheet that I designed that's uh, got kind of a, the playing card theme for the Alice, but it's light enough that you can still write on it. So it makes a nice backing. I didn't put any backing on these because I was planning to use them. Uh, to cover stuff up and make pockets and things. Uh, but if you want to use them as journaling cards like that, you have a backing for it. So that kit is going to be in my shop. Steampunk Alice journaling cards. And I'm going to put this gal in here on top of this paper. Do I want to make it a pocket in there too? 
or in here maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, so this edge, no glue. I swear to God, you don't know how many times I have said, okay, I'll make this a pocket and then flipped it over and just glued that sucker right up. <laughs> or glued the wrong side and then ended up having to close it up because it just didn't work. It's ridiculous. I'm sure any of you guys who've been doing this for any time at all have also done that. Look, my page is also a bit long here. I think I, oh, okay, I get, need to sink it in that corner. Or in the spine, really, in the gutter. That's what that is called. Did you know that? You might not actually know that in a book. When you're designing things, you, you gotta be careful of that fold in the middle. Things you learn from print publishing. All right, do I want to bring this down? I'm going to bring it down a little bit. It's still showing off that envelope a little bit. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm very pleased. I could probably come back to it later and maybe add some words or a stamp of some kind or something just to pretty her up. That's pretty good. Just the way it is. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.